What is up guys, it's Wraith back with another video. Now in today's video, I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts and what a lot of people are thinking on who's the most likely duo to actually win the World Cup. And obviously anything can happen, it could be some unknown, this team could get clapped, but the team that I honestly think is going to win and probably so do a lot of you guys is actually Secret Mongrel and Atlantis Mitro. And they are probably the deadliest duo pair in the entire world right now, especially in European. Like, don't even get me started. They clap every server in European. Um, but basically, I'm just going to go through some tips for you guys to kind of understand about why they actually are the best duo that they are. And trust me, these guys are absolute gods. Like, if you watch the gameplay behind this video, absolutely amazing the things they can do. They're just... It's... Fun. Like, I don't... I can't even say how unbelievable they are. Um, but yeah, so let's let's kind of get started and the first thing point I kind of want to mention um, is like I just said they're both individual skill is one of the top 10 15 players in the world both of these players are mongrel may even be top three depending on who you ask obviously everyone has different opinions but both absolute I'm not gonna say God again but you know what I'm gonna say you basically know already um these guys are unbelievable solo play so in case something happens like they uh, Mitra dies off spawn or Mongo dies off spawn. You can still count on the other one to still be able to 2v1 teams even against pro players and even end game still clutch it up and still actually get the W even if one of them dies but most of the time they do not die early game because they can mostly take anyone who they fight early game. Um, and then Mongrel for yeah like I said Mongrel he's definitely top three in the world right now like depending on who you ask again I think he's number one but his editing speed his building speed his aiming his IQ, everything is just so unbelievably high compared to every other player in the world and even some pro players. Like, I'm pretty good at keeping track of what people do, but sometimes I don't even know what he's doing. It's just so fast and so, like, dynamic what he's doing. It's just incredible. And Mitro's very, very close to him. Like, don't sleep on Mitro. He's a very, very good player as well. And could probably, yeah, be top 10, top 15 players in the world right now. Um, but yeah, so a good good kind of point is sometimes like if you die with your duo, it's, for example, you can still kind of play as a solo and uh, it's obviously very difficult if you're going up against a pro team, but I wouldn't be surprised if one of them dies off spawn one game and still be the other one's still able to check out six or seven kills and even come top five. So I wouldn't be too, too surprised about that. Um, a kind of fact that a lot I can actually give to you guys is they've been consistently placing high no matter where they're playing. And in every single one of these arena tournaments, I guess you can call the last three one, like the Lux Cup. The Lux Cup, they actually won European servers, but all the other one, uh, they've been playing NA East, NA West, and European. And for European, and they'll finish one, like number one spot most of the time, and sometimes they'll finish top five, like Savage will play really well or whatever, right? So normally they finish consecutively f fifth place or higher, most of the time one, two, or three. Um, they've been finishing that a lot recently in the last couple tournaments. And sometimes they'll even play on NA West or NA East and still finish like top 100. I'm like, how how are you guys finishing top 100 and I can barely even finish top 100? Like, they're just incredible. Like, imagine playing at 300 ping and just getting dropping a 20 bomb. Like, unbelievable. I don't even understand how they do that, but it's very very impressive. Um, and a good point about them is they're again again. I guess I have a stutter right now, but something that makes them a very dynamic duo instead of dangerous is their comms are absolutely phenomenal. Like, if you watch a video or you watch their live stream, they're talking about everything. They're saying, hit hit 30 damage on a white skin, hit 30 damage on red soccer skin, whatever it is, right? Their comms are unbelievable. But the thing that makes them, the part actually so deadly about the comms, is sometimes they're, they're just so naturally gifted to play against, to play with each other, that sometimes Mitra will drop down from height, or he'll build up to height, or he'll do something like crazy mongrel already knows he's doing that play so he literally just keeps going with the flow like sometimes you'll see with duos um they'll make a call and it takes a second or two to, to register before like that calls like oh my god that's what he means uh they just have that natural knack i guess you could say for understanding what each other means which sometimes is very important especially like end game or like when there's one guy box and sometimes you don't have that split second to make the calm and say he's down on me you have to make that own play but Mitro or Mongo kind of know what each other's play styles are so well because they play in so much obviously they can play like nine hours a day their comms and not even their comms but like their natural talent to see what each other is about to do are unbelievable 
And another kind of reason as to why they're so good is I think because obviously they play nine hours a day, ten hours a day, and anyone would be absolutely unbelievable if they play that much. I'm assuming 99% of the people watching this video don't even play over four hours a day. I try and play two to three hours, four hours, maybe five hours, depending on my school schedule. Um, this schedule, this summer, I'm actually gonna start grinding and actually see if I can make it somewhere. But we'll see. It's not really the topic of this video. Um, but yeah, like they've been playing since season four, like eight hours a day. So obviously that helped, and they've been playing. They were one of the first players I know who's actually been playing scrims. Especially like the, I know Mongrel when I used to watch him when he was not that not that popular. And back in season four, he'd even play NA West or NA, or NA East, sorry, uh, scrims because European weren't even invented yet. Uh, but once they did, he obviously started grinding those. And not only are they unbelievable in scrims, like they can obviously win end game 90% of the time. Okay, not 90%, but a high amount of time because they're just very smart end game and they don't miss their shots and builds. Uh, but they're also huge pub stompers. Like, I don't know if you guys don't watch either of them, but they drop 20 bombs, they drop 30 bombs. Like, they are, they are the total package, I guess you could say. Like, imagine being able to drop a 20 bomb four games in a row, right? Like, Mongo Mutual, they do that consecutively and so much that for the first game, don't be surprised. Like, in a first game of the World Cup or something, don't be surprised they go out and drop a 8, 10, 15 killer as a duo, get 15 points and win the game and get around 35 points in their first game. Don't be surprised. They've done this plenty of times. They pub stomp through the first game, W key everybody. Normally, they win most of their fights because not many people can handle them. And then they most, most of the time win their first game. If not... They only lost it in three points, and they still take it down a little bit. They don't W key as hard in the following games, but again, if they need points, they can W key and still drop a 15 bomb, even against pro players. Like, it's unbelievable the things they can do. Uh, sometimes, they, yeah, like I mentioned, they don't really even need to communicate. Like, they just know each other what they're going to do. Uh, but, but basically, overall, I just want to say that, yeah, like, obviously, there's no guaranteed chances that get, they're going to win the World Cup. I'm not going to say that I'm betting all my money on Mongrel and Mitro winning the Duo World Cup. Obviously, there's tons and tons and tons of factors that you can actually put into this equation. Like, I don't, I know about Mongrel's been to the line of it. I don't know about Mitro. But hey, you never know. If millions of people are watching, then they could crack underneath pressure. That happens a ton in sports. Like, I don't know about esports as much, but tons in sports. They might get screwed RNG. One might get sniped off the of spawn. Anything can happen in Fortnite, and that's why it's such a cool game, because there's so many different things that can happen which can give people advantages, or just take away their all their advantages and give them a huge disadvantage right away. But if I had to guess, due to their natural talent solo play, where they're able to 1v2 players, be able to pub stomp when they need the points, and be able to actually play the end game properly and better than almost any other pro that I can think of, I think they have the best chance at winning. Um, some other teams that I think have a really good chance are Sen Animal and Sen Aspect. They've been doing absolutely unbelievable. I mentioned them in my last video. Tifu and Cloaksy. Right now, some maybe Sa Savage and Benji. I think they have a good chance. But right now, those are really the only four duos I see that I think would have the best chance overall to actually win. Let me know down in the comments who you guys think will actually win for the duos. Because I definitely, if I put my money on it, it'd be Mongrel and Mitro for sure. But so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, comment who you think will win, or comment what you want to see in a future video. I'm always down, like I say, every video to learn more stuff and learn what you guys want so I can actually provide some information and help you guys out. But yeah, so hopefully you guys have an enjoyable rest of the day and make sure that subscribe button. I'll see you guys all for the next video. Peace, guys. Have a good one.